Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to make over these three thrift finds uh, to fit into your farmhouse style design. Uh, my first thought was to leave these uh, wooden lids, just the wood tone. Uh, but when I opened them up, there were, um, there was a lot of shellac and, um, I didn't want to bother trying to get all that off. Uh, so I'm just going to be painting those, but I'm not going to be painting the same color that I'm painting this basket. So I'm just going to use some tape here to hold those up out of my way. Now I'm using a furniture brush here because that's the only brush that I could think of that would get down into those grooves. And if you'll notice, when I'm painting this, I'll, I'll lean my brush downward and then uh, brush a little bit and then lean it upwards. That way I can get down into the grooves better. And it still takes some maneuvering to get down in the grooves well. Uh, the best choice for this would be to take it outside and spray paint it. Uh, but the weather here is terrible, so uh, I'm just gonna be brush painting this. But I'm going to give it a good coat. I'm doing two coats um, on the outside plus the handle and the bottom, but not inside. So I just give it a good, a couple of good coats of linen white chalk paint and then set that aside to let it dry. Now for our next item, I just want light texture on it. So I'm going to take this same linen white chalk paint and mix a little bit of baking soda in there. Um, the usual ratio would be half and half, but I don't want that much texture, so I'm only doing about um, half that amount. And again, I'm just going to give this item a couple of good coats of, the, of this white linen chalk paint. And I paint just down inside the top lip and that's it because I want to leave this item to where you could put something flowers in it or uh, something like that and uh, and it's white inside anyway uh, so I don't plan on painting the inside so just a couple of good coats and and then we'll move on to the next item so on this tray I want to start by putting uh, a coat of black paint. Now I'm not using chalk paint here um, because I want to uh, be able to water distress this piece and so uh, when I rub that the, the uh, top coat which will be my white chalk paint uh, down I, I don't want it to take this black off also because the purpose of putting this on is so I have a good dark base to distress down to. So this is just a base coat uh, so that we'll have something to distress rather than uh, distressing down to this red. So like I said, one good coat on this, um, on the sides and on the bottom, and then I'll let it dry uh, and move on to my... Um, appliques. Uh, now I'm using uh, just one layer from a napkins, a napkin. Um, most napkins have at, or all napkins have at least two layers and this one actually had three which is good because the thinner the better on this. Uh, and I'm going to take uh, some stamps that I have uh, of farm animals. These are primitive farm animals and I'm going to ink those up and stamp those onto this uh, piece of tissue. Uh, this piece of napkin actually. And all that's going to do is make us a transfer that we can then decoupage onto our pieces. And uh, the reason I say the thinner the better is because when you decoupage that on, you want uh, this leftover paper to just kind of disappear. And uh, if you do them on this thin uh, napkin like this and you cut, your, uh, cut away as close to the image as you can, it makes a really good transfer. So I'm going to be making all of these animals here so that I can put them on each of my pieces. And then, like I said, when I cut these out, I'm going to cut just as close to the image as I can get. Um, and, and that'll be a cleaner finish when I go to decoupage it on. 
Now the first transfer that I'm going, going to apply is is the pig, and I'm going to put that on this uh, on this crock or or what I'm calling a crock. We're going to make it look like that anyway, um, and. Um, I guess a lot of people would use this to put kitchen utensils in since these are gonna be farmhouse kitchen items. Uh, but I'm just kind of placing that to make sure I like the way that's gonna look. And then I put a thin layer of the Mod Podge uh, on. I wouldn't go too thick at all because this tissue is very, very thin at this point. So it's not gonna take much to keep it in place. And, um, and so I'm just gonna place that on there and then put another coat over the top. Uh, this is very easy to Mod Podge with. Uh, the main thing is just be very careful that you don't let your uh, paper fold up because uh, it's very fragile at this point and make sure that you, you don't put too much pressure on it. But it'll smooth out really well and uh, you'll get a good clean finish. And so there that is, uh, but I've decided at this point that I think it needs more. So uh, I'm going to take some black uh, and put just over that rim at the top. Uh, now, I'm just freehanding this. Uh, you can make sure that your paint is good and dry and tape it off, uh, but I'm just going to freehand. And, and then you're going to paint down inside just around the top lip. Uh, where you have that little line there at the bottom, the little indention, you're also going to have that inside, and that gives you a good stopping point. And uh, like I said before, I don't like to paint down inside, so uh, just around the top will make it look, uh, look finished. And then once this is dry, I'll be giving it a couple of good coats of clear coat polycrylic. And then this item will be complete. And once the black coat on my tray is good and dry, then I go back and put a couple of good coats of, um, of the white linen chalk paint, letting it dry in between, obviously. And, and then it will be ready also for my transfers. Now, I don't plan on painting the bottom of this because it's just the raw wood. Uh, it wasn't painted to begin with, and uh, so I'm just gonna leave the raw wood, but I will paint obviously around the sides and inside. And then I'll set this aside to let it dry. Now this is an item that I decided to add to this grouping. I just had this white lampshade, and I had a, a black lamp that it would fit. So I'm just gonna take one of these transfers and put onto this uh, lampshade, and then we'll have a matching lamp. These lampshades are really easy to change up. Uh, you can paint them, decoupage them, uh, add fabric to them with hot glue. Um, there's just a number of things you can do to change them up. Uh, but this is going to be a very simple one. Uh, I'm going to decoupage this image on here. And I decide afterwards that this also needs a little something. So I'm just going to tape off a very thin strip on the very top and the very bottom of this lampshade and, uh, and paint that black. And then I feel like that gives it the look that it needs. And obviously I'm going to go over this also with a clear coat. Then the reason for that is because uh, I have that finish from the decoupage o over and around my image, and I want uh, the entire lampshade to have the same finish. But just uh, take, what this is just Dollar Tree masking tape, and I'm just very carefully taping a very thin section, and then I'm just going to paint that black, and that will be all that this, this uh, item will need. When I'm thrifting, I pick these up if they're in good shape. I, I like for them to be good and clean, but even if they have stains, uh, like I said before, you can, you can decoupage over it, paint over it. Uh, there's not much limit to what you can do to these. So just a little thin coat of this black. It doesn't have to be a heavy coat. Uh, 
because it can have kind of a rustic finish to it. So uh, I'm not bothering to do two coats, just the one will be plenty. And then once I remove the tape, uh, then I have that little thin line that I need and it's just enough black to uh, help this item to go with the others. Then we will move back to, uh, to the tray and I had some customers come in while I was working on this, so I didn't get to film this, but I essentially just decoupage those three transfers on there. And now I'm going to go back with this farmhouse stencil and stencil the word farmhouse on the top. And you could add some little feet to this tray to lift it up off. If you wanted to use it uh, as a riser, you could to lift it up off the counter. Uh, but I'm just going to use this as a bed tray or, or whatever. And, and like I said, you could add the feet later. And, and I may decide to, but for this one, I'm just going to leave it like it is. And I use these little makeup sponges to do my um, stenciling with. I have some of the stenciling brushes, but I, I just never have had a lot of luck with those. I, I get that little feathery bleed through, and I, I don't really know what I do wrong, uh, but I don't ever have a problem with these sponges, so I, I just, uh, that's just what I do mine with. And I'm out of focus here, and I'm sorry about that, but it just says farmhouse and has a little design around it. And now I am going back with just a, a damp cloth and distressing this chalk paint because I have, haven't at this point, I haven't uh, clear coated it yet. I will, when I'm finished, go back and give it a couple coats of clear coat. But, um, but don't do that until you first distressed it because uh, this is just a, a very easy way to distress your object. And then other than clear coating this, then this item will be finished and we'll move back to our picnic basket. For the picnic basket, uh, I'm going to paint both the top and the inside of both of these uh, flaps. And, um, and then I'll let that dry and distress that also. Now I'm going to have to uh, distress this with, uh, with sandpaper. And I'm going to use a high grit sandpaper. And, um, but the reason I can't distress this uh, with the damp cloth is because it's not a chalk paint. I'm just using a regular black paint here. So I'll have to get out the sandpaper when it comes to this one. And here it's dry at this point and I'm just giving it a sanding. And, and where there's a lot of uh, texture on this top because it's kind of a basket weave, it, it, gives it a really pretty look. Now I'm distressing the outside of the basket also, but uh, again, I'm using a damp cloth on this one because I, I did use chalk paint here. I hope you found this video inspiring and uh, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Have a wonderful evening.